Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Florida Vibes podcast. This is the fourth Florida Vibes podcast. Episode. Fourth episode. My name is Jordan, and my wife Hi. here is. My name is Melissa. And uh, this is our fourth episode. We had to skip last um, week because we had something exciting. Yeah, we celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary in Savannah, and it was the best. So what was your uh, favorite thing about our fifth year anniversary in Savannah, Georgia? Oh, um, my favorite one uh, is the one that we stayed. The hotel? Yeah, the hotel. Oh, so We stayed right on the river. Yeah. So, um, so like, and so if you've never been to Savannah, it's like, it's an old town. It's like St. Augustine, if you've ever been to St. Augustine, but it's like, it's an old town. It's haunted. A lot of, you know, there's, it's, it has a big, um, where like you can go on the haunted tours and it's very, um, old, um, mm-hmm. colonial. And there's a river, which is on the river side. And we, our hotel is in the old electric factory or like it's where they, um, I forgot what fat. Well, I forgot what service that building served, but they converted JW Marriott converted it into a hotel, and it's like a bunch of restaurants, and there's a Starbucks, and there's like a beer place, and a steak place, and it's histrionic. It's histrionic. I think that's a new word. I've never <laughs> so heard <this> that. Is- <laughs> <laughs> What's histrionic? I've never heard that before. It's like histrionic is a disease, a defense mechanism for. People with like a prop mentally problem. Really? Okay. Yeah. It's I, like I didn't know that. No. Anyway, um, just give stuff. I thought you were talking about history. Okay. Um, but no, uh there's yeah, there is a lot of history there. And uh it was really cool. Um inside it's kind of like when you come in, it's kind of like it's so big. It's so big. Like we had a walk. It felt like almost like a mile just to get to our hotel room. And it was all uh, that was all part of the hotel, right? The only thing that I like is they're all spread like different from the other building and you have to go to the other building so big. because of this. Yeah. It's just sometimes I feel like get confused a little bit, but overall it's the best. I like the view and also we are so grateful and thankful to dad for this uh he anniversary. gifted us he gifted us oh, for our fifth anniversary he gifted us the hotel rooms which was yeah. very awesome of my dad yeah, thanks dad yeah thanks dad and um that was our and a fifth year anniversary uh present and we really appreciate it because it was i was thinking maybe we can go to miami stay in florida um drive we down there Maybe go to, well, we always go to Disney. So. Because the last, almost for, uh, we've been like our anniversary, always go to Disney. Yeah. And it was. Yeah. Well, we went on our honeymoon to Disney. Yes. Oh, yeah. Honeymoon. So and it's oh, like, tomorrow the anniversary. It's so easy. Is it's so easy to go to well, anniversary. I'm, I'm not even complaining about it. I'm so yeah. be grateful because yeah. some people never, never, never been. experienced never that been. one. Yeah. I'm still be really grateful. Yeah. But the thing is, I was just. Kind of like well, something different, something, something different, new. like something a little for bit five years, a little bit like, more romantic, know? right? Yeah, this was I, and I'm thinking maybe Miami, no, obviously not Disney. That's not as romantic as I want it to be. And I'm thinking, OK, Savannah, it's only a couple hours away, about four or five hours away driving. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, the good thing. Yeah, I like also when we do like a uh, field trip or whatever, you like. Because, uh, you know, what I you like mean? that in our, our time, like we're doing a trip. When we just like, drive in together? Trip. Yeah, get together. That's your favorite time when, when we're talking yeah. when we're talking for those four, four or five hours in the car? Well, that, that going time to Bucky's. I was exhausted because yeah. after for work. I picked we you just, up after work, yeah. yeah. Anyway. So um, we went. So what did we do in Savannah? We went to, on the history tour, we went on the um, the good old trolley. Uh, and they showed us, they did a great job, a really great job. So if you ever go to Savannah, go on the, um, trolley, I think any of the trolleys probably, probably yeah. do a good job, but the one we went on was really great. What else did we do? Um, we were on the river, so we got to see a lot of the river, a lot of boats river coming street. in. There's a lot of shopping center. A lot of shops on the river. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel different. I feel, I really like, I love it. Like, and then also... The second day we went to Wormslow Plantation, I believe it's called Wormslow. 
So basically, it's like a full mile of um, nothing but trees. These big, tr- trees. these big trees. I, I forgot what kind of trees there are, but they have moss, like Spanish moss, hanging down. So it's really like it's pretty, really southern and savanna looking. Yeah, if you guys want to have like a photo shoots for everything or an anniversary photo shoot. We forgot to do, we talk about that, that we have, we should do that in our fifth year anniversary, but it's too late. But anyway, yeah. we'll just do it next time. No, I mean, we got good photos, I think. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, we like, a, like, a really, like, a photographs, like, hard, some people have heard. Right, yeah. right. Next time. Ten, yeah. ten year anniversary. But we'll if you that. guys want to, like, you know, if you just want to, looking for something, a place, a romantic, you should go to Savannah. Savannah is very romantic. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's it's different place. It's like, it's a very nice and if like you guys if people are in if you're into history then this is the best place to be. I mean there's yeah, there's like history there's, there's, there's history yeah. everywhere. Yeah, especially you guys if you're Florida, it's very close to Savannah. Yes. That you can especially in Orlando. Yeah, you can go check that out. It's nice to go there. Yeah, it was awesome. It was um not uh, just for like for a couple, it's also for a family. Like, yeah, know, I yeah, I went with my people. family the first time, but this yeah. is I, I I liked our time better because I feel like it's I feel like it's because I feel like it's better for couples. It's good for families. It's good for families, but I feel like it's I saw a lot more couples there because we went on the bridge. Remember the bridge with the uh, the locks? Uh, that- Explain what, what what we did there. There I don't know what kind of I don't know what exactly it's like a love it's I like forgot. a love it's like a love bridge or something where they yeah, have I a bunch of love it, locks. But if yeah. you guys also just check that out, if you get coupled, you can get a lock on a store. Which yeah, is you can next buy one, it, buy, buy one next it, to the store just, for ten bucks. Just, <laughs> but it's a cute lock. It's hard <laughs> yeah, okay. anyway. Yeah, it's a nice little cheap lock, and then um, we but put yeah. we, we, what we did was um, we put our our. Uh, wedding day, wedding day, wedding and day. then our fifth year anniversary day, which would be the, the, the 20, day that 28. we went to Savannah. Also, that we went 10, yeah. yeah, well, our anniversary day, yeah, yeah, so the 28th of 2023, and then the 28th of 2018, so then the whole fifth year anniversary. But yeah, I mean, like it was, um, I think it uh, it was great, and um, it was like, um, uh, perfect, it was a perfect uh, fifth year anniversary it's a trip, one. yeah. And then um, that was uh, we had we were busy with that basically, and then we came back and we had Halloween, which just recently just wrapped up a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and we didn't get anybody. It's just sad. I waited for hours, just waiting for the kids to come in the house but nobody's came like anyway yeah nobody we so bought where, where's we went, the baby where are the kids yeah, i'm where, excited why aren't they dre- yeah where are they at? was dressed up we went to sam's and we bought two full one full two bag bags. one okay. full no it was one full of m&ms just m&ms right because everybody yeah. loves m&ms and then the other one was like reese's butterfingers just, and then yeah Snickers. I don't remember what was else. It's a, yeah, it's like a it's like a normal. Bag it's a variety thing. bag, and we bought two full bags of those, and we mixed it up in a bowl. Was waiting for every, and then like we, we started it and thought they're going to come at five or six or seven. And nothing, nothing the whole night. No one Even came. Just one single. Kid. No one. No, no one came. And then also, my parents said that nobody came to theirs, to their house. And then also my sister said that nobody came to her house, yeah. which is w- weird. Even though that one of my patient is, uh, he also talked to me about nobody because came. Really? Yeah, I said, oh, where did you guys leave? I forgot what he mentions about it, but that's what he said. Like, they already have all the canies and everything, but nobody's came there. That's so weird. I don't know. Maybe because maybe they, they, they do something like for parks, all the kids. I don't know. Maybe they're all at Disney and getting the candy there. Oh, there's a much a lot of candies in Disney and much more like. Well, there's, you know, the party, you huh? know, the party, the night party that you can and go to. And candies in not Disney. Not so scary that, that we, we need to go to next it's year. It's an expensive one, too. Yeah. I saw that on the it's group. The full, it's the full, it's the full, they give out full bars, of full yeah. like Snicker bars. At, at, Did you see that on Facebook that people like. Uh, people posted about those trick and treats in Disney, uh-uh, and they have that, a no. lot of canies. Like, 
a whole bag of suitcases full of candies. What? When we get back, yeah, if you, if you can check that out. Oh my god, that's a lot. So they that's bought so a much. they bought a suitcase just to put the candy in. Yes. What? They had they have that one, and they have a pictures on it. And I was like, oh dang, that was kind of a lot. So that's hilarious. Well, this this Magic Kingdom is a huge place. So yeah. There's a lot of stores in there, so I have to go there. Yeah, but they're paying for it. You know, okay, that's that's for, an event, but that, well, I, well if, of course you have to. They got to get their it, money's worth, right? But the the kids is enjoying it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, as long as the kids are love it and enjoy it, fun. So yeah. Do you think that's a good idea to have maybe like two kids, like toddlers, and they're gonna have a full suitcase of candy? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to think about that. That would be but. terrible. Well, the kids gonna if the if not if they're not gonna bring it and then probably the kids gonna f- find it and say where is all my candies? They at-? get pissed, right? Yeah, because they work hard for it. They <laughs> right. carrying all the candies in the bags, right. like hey, trick or treat, something like that. Yeah, you know. Actually, they're so cute, like wearing all the those costumes that you know. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, um, it's weird because uh, it's not like whenever COVID happened. There was, there was, I think even whenever COVID happened, there was still some trick or treaters. Yeah, we just put the basket outside and people said, get there. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. make sense today, but nobody's came. Like, no, nobody. There's no Absolutely nobody. pandemic. And then when a town was pandemic and there's like, there were still people. Um, there's still people, even just like a couple. Of, yeah. Yeah. I, it now, doesn't make I don't sense. Know. Anyway, just move on. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, maybe next year. So I don't know. We'll probably, uh, Hopefully, maybe next year, bring our kid trick or treating. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> when we Probably. have a kid soon. Um, so, the next thing is actually kind of gross. They're, it's about kids and they're pooping in Disney lines. The kids Did you pooping hear about, in yeah. Disney. Did you hear about this? Well, it's normal and they pooping in Disney. <laughs> no, in the line. In the di- what do you mean, line? In the queue when you're waiting for the ride. Maybe because maybe they can't hold it because you know it's a kid. Yeah, but you got to take your kid out. You can't let your kid just sit there and poop. Okay, let oh, me. So let they're me, pooping in the thing in the line. So they let the in parents, front of everybody. Yeah, the parents let them. Let me let me read you what they said. Okay, this is on. Um, okay, this is on the subreddit Walt Disney World. So this is on Reddit. He uh, this guy named Phoenix Wade said weird stuff. Um, he said he's in the queue for Rise of the Resistance and someone let their kid take a dump, a poop on the floor and then just walked out and left it. Oh, that's not nice. That's it's, disgusting. Yeah. That's kind of disrespectful. And then also all of the, there's a bunch of comments where there's people talking about they are um, custodians at Disney and they say that happens all the time. Really? Isn't that gross? That kind of like, that kind of makes me feel... Like I'm gonna th- uh, like, like when I hear thinks- that I'm gonna think about it whenever I go in line now. Like if I'm in the rise of resistance, that's why I'm gonna have- look for poop. <laughs> oh my god! No, I mean, yeah, but that's why I don't like you to touch everything in the. Yeah, you don't want to touch everything. You whatever. don't want to touch it's anything. It's disgusting because I don't want to. No, I don't want to touch it. If you want to something to try to wipe it, it's gonna be gross. So that's why I always have to bring sanitizers or wipes, no matter yeah. what, when you go to Disney or wash your hands. You know, always before, wash your hands. Yeah, if you're, yeah, if you're about to eat, if you're about to eat, I'd say well, yeah, obviously wash your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying if you're about to eat, you need to wash your hands. Of course, you have to. Because because now I'm gonna wash my hands anytime I see a bathroom because I don't want to. I don't. I don't know what has poop on it or not. Yeah, I, you didn't even know that people <laughs> who are in there that they're sick and just go to Disney. That's true. That's true. And then some people also is very contagious, and you don't. Even they don't know. even know if they're sick. Yeah, you didn't even people don't even know it. if yeah. you're like, for example, me. I'm sick, and you were with me beside me, and then even just to c- cough, like whatever urban precaution, something right. like that, it's gonna it's gonna get you. I'm just saying, just that's why hand washing is very important for everybody, and that's just in parks, but in everywhere. Right. That's disgusting, though. What if you saw what if you saw a little kid do that? What would you? I mean, I I would kind of I'd be like a, I'd have to say something to the mom, be like, "Hey, what the hell no, are you no, doing?" Yeah, not just the mom, but also the dad, whatever yeah. it is, who whoever's it, the, 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 the custodian. The yeah, I mean, they knows you understand that the kid is gonna do that, but they need to be something like be vigilant about it, like have to think. I don't know. It's just not just being selfish, but have to think the people that are with 
you know, on that That's line. That's disgusting. You can't just it's let gross. your kid just drop trow and poop in the middle of a, of a line in Disney World. So the one was like a diaper with a poop or something. Like I don't know that. how old the kid was, but he, but he said, like he it's said, he like, saw it, physically saw the mother allowing it in his, and the kid just pulls down his pants and poops. Yeah, and then, and then the right. custodians, the custodians, the workers there who are cleaning this stuff up, they say this happens all the time. It's just not also right when a kid see that. I want how did mo- the parents anybody, do that? Like anybody, that's for society. That's disgusting. Like if they see the kids, what did the parents do that? Then I say, oh, I'm just okay to do this trash and whatever. Yeah, and then all the it's kids not, are gonna start pooping everywhere. That's what I'm saying. Like it's not good to. Mm. Anyway, that's so that's w- disgusting. That's so weird. What if you saw poop whenever you were in a line? Would you Would you want to go back to Disney? Or would that? We, I guess I go back to this and let them let them, them say, "Hey, it it's not good to do that, whatever." But I can say, "What if you didn't see them I'm poop, just, but you just see poop and you're like, oh wow, that's it'?'" And then it reminds you, I, you know me, I'm just, it's, this is so gross." Yeah, you're gonna say something to me. <laughs> that's so. <laughs> you're, you're gonna come to me and say, <laughs> and then I'm gonna be, you're gonna be smell like a poop everywhere, like everybody, and now you can't even enjoy the ride because you smell stink. You're, you're gonna come to me and you're gonna, it's gonna feel like you want what? me to clean it. I'm not cleaning that. I'm not gonna tell you gonna clean it. I'm just going to. They're so dis. But babe, how you how you how you say it sometimes what? is like, ew. That's you, there's poop over there, Jordan. You there's poop over there. <laughs> They would do something, Jordan. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? I'm not picking up that kid's poop. <laughs> I'm, whatever. I'm not saying that. What if you saw poop and you walk by it? Because, you know, I never, I've, ne- I've been on city streets. Hey. Listen, I've been on city streets and I've never seen that before. Oh, I've seen a lot. You're from the Philippines. Okay, so in Philippines, if, mostly. Emphasize that. It's very common that there's in the streets that there's a poops everywhere. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. Sometimes I step on it, like step on Human it. Human poop. No, not human. It's oh, animal. Okay. So I'm just saying. But it could, here be, it is could like, be human. Some of it. Oh, maybe some of it. Oh, I don't know, but maybe. That's disgusting. Kinda. It's gross. I want to throw up. Can you change the subject? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's talk about something um, a little bit lighter. I'm not a little bit nicer. Um, okay. Christmas time is here right after halloween that's whenever disney starts the whole christmas Thanksgiving. stuff is this a, no, no 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 hold on i'm getting to it hold on let me tell you okay I'm just christmas saying. time is here because right after halloween that's when they put all the uh stuff up so do you think and i had an idea because they don't they celebrate halloween and they skip thanksgiving and then they just basically celebrate Christmas for two months or so. Do you think that they should celebrate or put more emphasis and more like. More in Christmas and Thanksgiving? No, more, no. Celebrate Thanksgiving for a month or celebrate it for a couple of weeks. Do you think that they should celebrate Thanksgiving at Disney and put up decorations? Sure. And sell? Well, here uh, in America, it's very common in, in Thanksgiving. Why not? Of course, you guys should have celebrate Thanksgiving. Of course, Disney should celebrate Thanksgiving because it's one of the you guys have the main like uh, like holiday seasons is Thanksgiving. Right. So Disney should, should do that, like celebrating. But I think they do because remember you have like a restaurant you called the, well they like, have uh, well yeah I mean Liberty Tree Tavern Tavern yeah, which is in Magic Kingdom thing. which serves it all the time but yeah. it's not just Thanksgiving time I mean it's any time yeah some science said probably yeah of course I think that they should that would be nice I think that they should capitalize on that and sell merchandise like they can make so much money just selling Thanksgiving merchandise right you don't backpacks do shirts well ears. because. Because Thanksgiving only did once, once, uh, once a year, and also celebrating once a day. I'm just in general. So is Christmas. So I, is Halloween. Yeah, but Christmas is people think Christmas is just December, like two weeks, or like you can of course celebrate that. But I think the the, the well, main well, Christmas is all of December, right? I know. And then when I think of November, I think of I think of Thanksgiving. I don't yeah, think for, of Christmas. For. For me, I'm not listening to Christmas music right now. I know, but for me, if, uh, as uh, I think we celebrate also All Souls Days, they can in, for in the Philippines. Philippines. Yeah, November first and November second, all of us from us as uh, we have a family died. We always go to like uh, either November one or the second. We go to cemetery to visit or my family who died. Yeah, that's there. something we don't do here. 
Yeah, it's so explain very, what it's, explain it's what very, that is. In, it's very common in Philippines that we do that. Like it's like it kind of like traditions for us. Yeah, like celebrate. It's not celebrating. It's something like we Honor. remembered. We remembered right. our family that like, could died. Right. Something like that. It's we call it a soul, all souls day. So first November is first and second. You can go either that one or you can go both of the days. Hmm. So that's why last last uh the other day my my family went to yeah. to my dad and my sister. So anybody who's dead in your family is where you go to. Yeah. Oh, even your relatives, even your grandma or grandfather wow. can go there. Yeah. Interesting. And in mostly majority is very common in Philippines. Like we brought like bringing a foods to go there and eat there. What? Like we have like. Is it like a party or? It's some sort of like a party, like drinking. Like That's something crazy. Like, yeah. it, I know it's very, it's really crazy, but I don't know since I, I since I was born, oh, since I was like grow up, like that's all we do like every time. Yeah. Because I have my grandparents died before my dad. And then yeah. we always go there, like Elsa's day, like for November 2nd. We right. bring all the foods. And people also, I don't really understand that before, actually, when I was younger. I was just, whatever my parents do or my family do, I was just go following what they do. Like bring all the foods we eat there or something. Some people, yeah. the other, the other, what is it called? So do you guys only do that? You do that in November, right? Yeah, like first and second So that's November. like your Thanksgiving, basically. It's not that Thanksgiving. But it's different. It's different because yeah. Thanksgiving's like for the pilgrims and the, and the Native Americans coming together and Yeah, but this is all souls. That's all for Yeah, but it's, diff- um, it's different cultures is what I'm trying. But you guys still yeah. celebrate something in November. So yes, kind of. I, I just thought of something. So I, I, for, for that topic, I think that Disney should... Uh, start selling stuff like you know they, I think they should market it but I don't know why they don't but I, and like put up you know certain little bit decorations and put turkeys up and then you know have t-shirts and you know they could I have think, the, the ears and everything I think always celebrating at Thanksgiving because they have they're always tur- celebrating Christmas or Halloween that's yeah. it yeah, they don't no. celebrate they, I've seen a couple of things oh, for Thanksgiving only. I think they, they do celebrate every day because Disney always selling like there are sales for turkey leg. <laughs> turkey leg That's is there. True. Yeah. Always. But, and then Liberty Tree Inn is there, which yeah, is Thanksgiving kinda, food. Yeah. Well, it, it's very American thing. They should. So I think they should <laughs> emphasize that more and they should really like lean into it and like sell more products. Now, I had an idea I just thought of. Do you think because they don't have now they have like all of these certain princesses uh, for Disney from like China and um, what Moana from, you know, Hawaii and different, you know, um, and then uh, Belle, who's from France. You know, do you think that they're going to make a Filipino princess or should they make one? I don't know if we have a a Filipino princess. There is no there's not a movie. There's no movie for no princess. movie for Filipinos. No, we're uh no uh because I've seen a lot of movies in the Philippines and in Filipino movie, but I never like heard like there's a Filipino. Do you princess. think that Disney should make one, a, a Filipino princess? I, I don't know. Oh, that would that would be great. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that would be nice. But now that now they have a short, they have a short which is is based off actually of the Filipino Christmas where you make that star. What's that? What is that? Oh, it's so just, explain what that is, please. Uh, I'm I'm not really. I it's just like a. I don't know how to say the word. Is it is it like the star of Bethlehem for Christ or? <laughs> I don't know. I I, can't I think that's what that's it. for. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't say it, but mostly it's very common in Philippines to yeah. have that. Just one. have parties. <laughs> just no, like the star. Yeah. I don't know the exact. Everybody puts that it. up, and that that means that Christmas yeah, has started. Like, yeah. I don't know. So what? I mean, like, um, what kind of? Uh, so what? Like, if you wanted to see a princess, would you want to see it when it was like an older, like old, like back in the Lapu Lapu days, whenever it's like the back in the. 400, 500, 600 years old? Or would you want to see a modern Filipino I princess? I like a late modern Filipino. Really? Yeah, it's the wearing old, old, old one. Like, like before a generation. Oh, so the old, old or the modern? 
Would you want I, old I or like modern? The old way, I'm sorry. So would I you like want old camera. so they can kind of tell the history of yeah, the like Philippines? The, yes, That'd be cool. I think, I think they, they should. Started, something like that. Yeah, I think they should make that well, because they're kind of different now. So. I, I mean, they've already made I think two shorts, Filipino shorts. Um, I believe two Filipino shorts that Disney Pixar. I believe Pixar made it or Disney. Really? Yeah, they're on Disney Plus. Um, but and I think they're both about Christmas actually. So they sh- definitely should. Uh, do something, uh, make a Filipino princess. So the last, oh, um, princess. you're the, prin- you're the Filipino princess. princess. Who, that's who should they make it about? Should make it about you, babe. So, um, my last question here for you is what is your favorite ride or thing at Disney during Christmas? That's based off of Christmas that they kind of change or make for, for Disney, like Christmas I think specifically. I'm going to ask you, I think I you're know what me? you're going to like. What? I know which part ride that you're going to ride in Disney, which what is, is the living with the land. <laughs> that's know. true. I mean, I think, okay, whenever you go through living with the it's land. It's nice, actually. Yeah. It's, it's a different I, I i ride once i think we did that once right we've done it yeah we've done it at nighttime which was amazing the, yeah nighttime and living with the, the lights and everything christmas time is very nice yes there's jingle cruise which is jungle cruise but they, they put oh, jingle cruise we did for christmas we've done time? that I yeah forgot. with my sister remember that one. last yeah. year and then um, we need yet. to do it this year as well. And then um, there is just decorations in general. The tree. Yeah, you know, I, I would like to. I would like to try in Christmas the one of the new open. Yeah, Which the one? throne. The other one in in Epcot. Guardians. Yeah, I want to try. What's the music are they going to play with? I don't know if they put Christmas music. They should. Maybe. Uh, you never know. They should. Part, this, this is their first time Christmas. They, that's something, something like if that. they're not doing, they should do that. It's probably going to be cool. So my my favorite is Living with the Land. I love the, the tra- I love like all of the layover. Like, I don't know. You guys like Living with the Land. Maybe just you're getting old. Or just when you're reading. My dad, I'll tell you why I like living with Liam. My dad always took us on there when we were going on it's Epcot. It's just good, keeps you and relaxed. It's, and, it's, and it's relaxing, but it, it's only a five minute wait usually. And my dad would, he's just like always, we were always, because we when we were growing up, we would always go to yeah. Disney and he we would always go on there because there's something slow yeah, and, and something also, that my dad, because my dad had a bad back, so he really couldn't go on the <laughs> like the fast rides. So he liked the slower yeah. rides and like that was like something I just but like really connect with my dad. Also, because when you guys walk a lot, like in Disney, walking yeah. around, you need some and rest. it's time to get relaxed and, you know, like walking in the fresh, natural. Um, yeah, you get to see all the plants, the fish. Yeah, it's awesome. Like and the shrimp, like, the big shrimps. Yeah, but sometimes it's just kind of like with you, too much for you. I don't know why you it's get, calming. Listen, I don't know why you not get tired. Like every I time don't. we go I to Disney, I see something Disney, new every time. You never skip to ride the living with a lot. I understand. I gotta that. hit my classics. I was like, oh my god, here we go again. Like everyone just like when we just got there, and then oh, let's go to Living with the Land. We like, gotta hit Epcot. I mean, if we're going to Epcot, you gotta go to <laughs> Living with the Land. That's a, that's the best I, ride. That's I, the, I know. That is the best ride at Epcot. Oh my god. So, anyways, like, I understand that, but sometimes we can do something that's kind of be like different a little bit. Yeah, I but mean, there's one time, like we, one we, time. Hey, we came. there's a lot of times that we've gone. We didn't go on living with the land. No, there's one time that we came. We only ride like living with the land. That's it. And then there's <laughs> one time when we went and did everything else, and we didn't do living with the well, land. Well, which is not bad as long as like you enjoy it, which doesn't matter. Yeah, like and it's very calming, and it's very like I, I see I see a, like, I see a new fruit or a, a new plant every single time I go on seems there. Seems like all the narrator to what they said. I think that you already memorize. It. <laughs> I don't know, but I listen to the music when I work sometimes at home. Yeah, re- really. Yeah, because it's very calming. It's very calming music. So. To go back to it, like the Christmas over, like like that is like all the lights and everything. It's just perfect. I feel like it's just yeah, like it's nice. It's so like you bring your family on there, go at nighttime, and is it is so yeah, good. Just try it nighttime. is so good. So, what is your favorite Disney overlay, Disney ride update that they Christmas? do for Christ, for Christmas at Disney? The favorite one. Your favorite. I just like all the decorations. Just like the tree, like the trees in all the color for especially the fireworks. The yeah. Oh my god, I love it. I just, it's so, it's very colorful. I enjoy it. So I, pretty much the tree. 
pretty much pretty it's much so in, big no it's it's pretty much the environment the atmosphere or yeah. christmas season i like that I, I i really like it i don't care about the rides i just the the the, the attractions is a christmas right. i like that one yeah and uh they do go i mean they i feel like they go more all out for disney or for christmas disney goes more all out for christmas than they do halloween you know you know what's also fun when you went to the when you went to epcot and christmas time it's kind of like it's the vibes is so different like there's they're more and much more fun because they have like more uh like a band like there's some more concert going on right 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 it's and also Eat to the, beat the, and the, stuff. Decor- yeah. the decorations is so nice the one at epco was jennifer said about the candle lightning yeah the candlelight procession yeah that yeah. one is it's beautiful i really want to go also to do that because it's very that's my, nice that's my sister's favorite thing at disney oh i like it too that's, that's my be- sister's number one that's the best one you have to do try in Epcot. It's, yeah. it's 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 like a once in a lifetime oh, you yeah. go there. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. very nice. And the last time that we went there, who's the the narrator was I um, forgot her name. Whoopi Goldberg. She's a very oh Wh- yeah, Whoopi she's Goldberg. a very I remember her. She did a good job, yeah. Yeah, she's really great. And it, it was beautiful, like all the candles and everything. I don't know. It feels like it's a Christmas spirit when you go there. Yeah, it's great. It's like um like the live, the all the live bands, like Melissa was saying, and then like the candlelight processional is seriously is a once in a lifetime type of thing. Yeah, that's also one of the mo- the best uh, month to go. Disney, Disney. or like Disney, I, uh, December. I just so love it. Christmas time, Disney is very. It's very different. I love it. It truly is. But I mean, it's like it's the busiest, but it truly is. Yeah, but you enjoy it. Truly it truly is so worth coming to Disney yes. and experience all of because like there's extra stuff that is not during the year. Like they they like I said, like they go all out. I think they go all out more for Disney or for Christmas than they do for Halloween. Yeah, that's the best one. If you want to go to Disney, just try to go to December. Try. Yeah, but don't go in summer. It's so hot. It's yeah. so th- the heat is so, oh, I hate it. It's yeah. very hot. Yeah. That was like the time of July and August, so right? It's, it's sweaty it's, when you're walking around. Yeah, I, I hate it. And I don't like it. I Even though it's the same, but I can enjoy it because it's too hot. Yeah. And it's like it's right, now, sweaty. right now, You perfect. can't even enjoy it. Like, no. Yeah. Maybe you can enjoy it. But other than that, you, you're going to be smelling very stink. You're sweaty and everything is going to be like make you different your mood because it's very hot. Yeah. Well, the best thing you can go is December. It's cold and it's Christmas spirit. All the decorations are also pretty. Yeah. You can see different, like the characters, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just for me. It's my own experience, but I don't know. We're different. So we have their no, we have I, different I feel, perceptions. No, I feel like, I feel like most people, because there's, you can see when we go, majority of the people who are there, it's, it's, I mean, it was packed during the summertime, right? During July 4th, when we went um, around July 4th. But I feel like people, if they're able to, and like you were saying, if you're able to get your family on a vacation, I mean, like you're going to have that time off. The time is to come during Christmas because it's going to be, it's going to be magical. I mean, it's going to be like, yeah. you're going to be able to enjoy so like the, everything, like just like can like processional and then like all of the different like jingle crews and like all of the updates for Christmas. And then like, and it's just, it's great. It's just, it's just the best time at Disney. Yeah. It really is. It's just like ha- Halloween is cool, but like, unless if you pay for that event, the trick and treats, <laughs> like, uh, how, uh, was it Mickey's not so scary party? Like yeah, an extra hundred dollars. It's the extra hundred dollars you get to pay for it. But yeah, but they get the candy. Right. But like, <laughs> that's the only time when how, ha- like for Halloween that is worth going. But like, if you just, if you come to Disney in December and you don't have to, and they do have extra like, um, events that you can pay for. Um, they have the Holly, Hollywood, Holly Jolly Nights. I forgot what it was called. Like Holly, it's a Hollywood studios that they're going to have their first Christmas event this year. And then they have um, the, uh, the Christmas one, uh, the Christmas event that is a special one that is at Magic Kingdom, which you don't even need to go to because they already have like Magic Kingdom and every other like park kind of like bumped up for Christmas. And it's just like, you don't even need those events to enjoy an excess of, you know, Disney on 
uh, where they like, I really feel like they put out and they really have, like they showcase the best that they can do at Christmas time. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for listening for episode four and we're still be grateful for all of you guys listening and hopefully more episodes coming. And uh, yeah, so we really, really appreciate you guys listening. Um, Tell a friend about our podcast. We uh, would appreciate it. And you guys can see all of our social medias at the Florida Vibes, T-H-E, the Florida Vibes on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, but we really don't use YouTube. But yeah, um, we really appreciate it, guys. And uh, happy trails to you guys. And always keep it vibing.